Test. Hello. Oh, that is working. Uh, that is not the right title there. <laughs> Pony car. Ba 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 uh what do I need to open? This you howdy howdy, what a blob. How you doing? Group. Hello, hello, how are we all? The projector source, that, all. Uh, let's start the old LGM thing. I'm good, how are you? Glad to hear. I'm doing very well, thank you. Got myself a cheeky Starbucks, now ready to stream. Ready for the weekend, baby. Let's get the old timer going. Timer is going, live. You're hunting for everybody's favorite shiny horse that you can't just farm, lol. <laughs> I am indeed, I am indeed. Uh, I'm also testing out something new. Hey Rosie, what's going on? I am trying out vertical streaming on YouTube. So uh, you can check me out there if you want to. If you're on mobile, could be a cool way to watch. Completely up to you though. I'm happy if you just stay on Twitch. Happy to hang. Catch combo of 32, let's go. Uh, am I forgetting to do anything? I am. I'm forgetting to put some music on. <laughs> on mobile, but I prefer Twitch. Yeah, no, it's completely fair. It's completely fair. How are you today, Banjo? Close this. Okay. Donk. Uh, what can we get? Up eight hours of Kirby music. I don't know. I don't know if I'm in, in it for that. Uh, let's get the Elgato sound on it right down. Have you tried the Infinite Craft Pokemon again yet? I haven't. Um, we, we managed to get one of them. I got one. Uh, maybe I'll come back to that in a bit. Maybe we will go back to it to try to get... What was it? Morpeko and... I can't remember the other one. Oh, Pansage. It's doable, maybe. Maybe I should have stuck to like um, doing the first 150 Pokemon. I, I saw a, a YouTube video of someone trying to get just all the 100, first 151 Pokemon. You're on both, gotta support the homie. Appreciate you, Rosie. What a Chad. Torchic took forever. I know, Torchic would have been like, uh, it should have been the easiest one to get out of the three, and it still took forever, so God knows how long the other two would take. 
Are you, if you're on YouTube, Rosie, are you watching on computer or on your phone? Just wondering how it works. You are on your phone. Does it, everything look good? Does the layout look alright? Everything's like readable. Hopefully this doesn't cause any issues like internet wise. I have a feeling like we could end up like having the stream crash. And if that is the case, then we'll have to just scrap vertical streaming forever. But uh similar to like how when sometimes when I open Discord, it caused my Twitch streams to just die. I have a feeling this might cause a similar issue. But there was only one way to find out. Looks good to me, hell yeah. Hell yeah. The the other thing about um doing this is uh this will mean that I can have really like high quality shorts, I think, if we get the shiny. You gotta be careful, man. What do you mean? What do you mean, Ed Boy? Mm-mm. Well. What an ominous comment. Remember when I messed with your internet? Alright. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm I'm going I'm going like really like in on everything, to be fair, at the moment, because if the YouTube thing works and everything holds up alright today, I might try to stream to TikTok as well. <laughs> it's gonna be all over the place. And what I can do is there's like a um a app or uh, a program that I can download that will put all of my chats into one, so it'll be much easier to keep track of everyone. Can you explain the phases thing? Every time I see it, it confuses. So the phases, um, the phases is every single time I see a shiny that isn't the target that I'm hunting for. So say in this hunt, if anything shone except for Ponyta, that would be a phase. Rattata, Pidgeotto, Dodrio, even Rapidash, that would be a phase. But if I get Ponyta, that's my target, that's not a phase. Mm -mm. Yeah, I've seen people do that. TikTok chat is a while though. Yeah, maybe I won't. I'll just not read TikTok chat. <laughs> Might be the play. Might be the play. Does that make sense, Bob? Uh, feels good, man. I thought this was a short. <laughs> nope. Not today. Want to put out a go live message? Oh yeah. So, Jake, I'm trying something new today. I'm I'm streaming vertically to YouTube. So. I completely forgot to uh, put out a go live message. I will do that now. I got a lot on my plate. Live again. Again, lol. That'll do, eh? Nice. Yeah, check it out if you want. Or don't. I don't care. <laughs> Bought a new laptop, by the way. Ooh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Run away from Ratatata. Uh, a Moon Goose Sweet Scent. Stonks. Absolute stonks. Yeah. Uh, it should, as I was saying before, like, the, the whole stream to YouTube thing, as well as, like, maybe bringing in some new people, uh, it should also mean that my shorts and stuff will be made way higher quality because of the way that it's being recorded. The way that I was doing shorts before was taking the video, so like what you see now on Twitch, I would take that, take this camera, so this small tiny little camera, and make that into a bigger one so that it was kind of like low quality, whereas now it'll just be like as it looks on YouTube. It is satisfying to see that the border is 50 cent completed, except for the 11 forms. <laughs> Shut up. Um, that is something that you can't see on YouTube with the, um, the vertical stream is the border, so. 
If anyone wants to watch that is on YouTube, they can come over here. Who's this noob? I'll only call you a pro if you get shiny ugly M. Fair. Uh, that does make sense, Blob. Good. How's the new laptop, Jake? I literally sold an old laptop today. I'm probably saying you're going to have my old one. Well, not anymore. I was kind of, I was like just considering giving it away for free. Uh, just giving it, I don't know, putting it, giving it to the tip or charity or something like that. But then I finally got a message saying, hey, I'll buy that laptop for 40 quid. I had it up for 55, but because considering I was going to get rid of it for free, I thought, screw it, I'll take 40. I forgot to take the listing down and guess what I got an offer for today? I got an offer of £55 for that laptop, so if I'd have just waited one more day, I could have got an extra 15 quid. But you never know. 40 quid is better than nothing. It is what it is. On YouTube, I can have a better look at your face, maybe cover it up. Fair. I'll just I'll just stop streaming on YouTube. <laughs> How you doing today, Nymph? By the way, uh, Nymph means something entirely different, uh, IRL, to um, a shortened version of Sylveon, so... Just an FYI. Maybe, is there something you'd like me to call you? Nymphily? Uh, I'm at work at the moment and the laptop just arrived at home. Ah, fair. So you'll have to let me know how it is once you get it. No, don't stop. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> uh, you found my old pick of my league team on Fused Dimensions. Ooh, nice. I figured that's why you would never call him that. I was trying, I've been trying to avoid it, but it's just, you fall into... Just calling people a shortened version of the name. <laughs> Infoli is Sylveon's French name. Duh. I know that. Yes, I'm aware. It's just that if I try to shorten it, it's not great. What would you like me to call you? You want me to call you the full Nymphali every time I speak to you? Can I call you Lee? <laughs> you can call me Sylveon if you want. Okay. What about Prince? My Prince. If you're intending on keeping Prince, like, if you ever change your name again, Prince would probably be the smartest thing to call you. Uh, when I first saw it, I was confused. <laughs> yep. Or Sam's lover. Nah, Sylveon? Alright. Sylveon it is. I'll call you French Sylveon, how about that? <laughs> that works. Sylveon for me. <laughs> The Pokemon formerly known as Sylveon. <laughs> that is, that's pretty, that's a pretty specific reference. I like it. I decided not to put the, um, the LGM in YouTube as well. Uh, I figured I'd just leave it here. Although, I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I will add LGM to, um, the vertical stream. Because then if I get the shiny LGM, that'll make an even better clip. But, I mean, I'm not going to get it, so it doesn't matter. So I won't bother. There you go. Logic. You posted my 1.0 Fused Dimensions League team. Alright, let's have a look. Abadors. Mm -mm. Oh, damn it. Well, there's our first phase on this route. It was bound to happen with so many spawns. I think I've, I've phased on a Pidgeotto before on this route. Oh, it's so annoying, dude. Look at how many freaking ponies spawn. Look at them all. And I get a shiny P Pidgeotto. <laughs> <sighs> well there you go blob that is a phase so that would be my 74th phase i'm not going to catch it because i well one i already have it and two my rules say i have to just go for ponyta and there it goes yep phase number 74 we continue get a burb close up oh i should have had i should have next time there's bound to be more phases on this route I like the team, Sylveon. I like it. Let me try and guess who each of the Pokemon are. You ass. You're the ass. Uh, we've got a Greninja and a... I'm already stumped by the Greninja. I'm not sure who that's combined with. Uh, I'm guessing Rapidash and... Again, I'm not sure. Uh, the the third one is definitely Tangrowth and Diggersby. That one I can get. Uh, the fourth one is Sandslash and Metagross. The fifth one is um, Netric and Nidoking. And the sixth one is Charizard and I'm not sure. 
Garzod and Glade. You get Rapidash here too? Yeah, I'll have to get Rapidash here. Is it Greninja Darkrai? Good guess. I like this game actually. <laughs> guess the uh, the fused Pokemon. What's the hardest hunt so far? Ooh, probably, I want to say Poliwrath was pretty tough. Vile Plume was bad because I failed it and then I uh, had to go and reclaim it and it took forever. Um, it's going to be one of the one percenters. Yeah, I'd probably go Poliwrath or uh, Pol uh, Vile Plume. Mm, I, mean, I mean, the Persian was technically the hardest because I had to do that as a trade hunt. It's Greninja Gengar. Ah, oh, see, I would have get. I wouldn't have guessed that. I should have though. The purple is quite Gengari. Oh my god, these froze, dude. All a shiny. Ah, that's why. And it is Gallade Charizard. Nailed it. Um, was the other one Rapidash Galarian? What was Rapidash Galarian fused with? Dubwool. Is it Dubwool? I'm guessing because of the eyes, and if it's shiny, that would be the color. Rapidash Galarian Dubwool. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, I've just realized because I had that open. Uh, let's go ahead and there we go. Yes, I will be getting a Rapidash here. Angry from Diggsbury was pretty good. Would it, would it have been huge power? Can't believe it. Alright, we got we gotta update the layout so it reflects uh, all this info. Phases this hunt. That is gonna be one. Uh there. need overall phases to be 74. Okay. And that's that. <laughs> Pretty sure that's all I had to update. Look at that. Updates automatically on YouTube as well. Hog Arena. Greninja, mm -mm. Slash, and Galazard all had Megastones. Oh, hell yeah. Can you use more, more than one Megastone in a battle? Do you have like a um, an image of what their Mega form looked like? What does the um what does the image look like for my uh, YouTube short? Okay, so it's just taken from the video. Thinking, can't we just troll people via this chat by planning out what we what to do? What do you mean? Game Meta Slash's Megastone was a pain in the ass because finding Velshrew in the wild was like 2% in Mount Moon. Oof. Rip. Oh, we got an Eevee. I'd be very upset if we phase on an Eevee while we're hunting on this route. Oh, what a perfect throw. Yeah, I love to see it. If nobody checks this chat, we can make a plan to troll. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't work if I just read out all your comments, Ed. <laughs> Elgium. Megastones are like 5% on the first stage of the Pokemon. Ah. Just trying to, like, trying to get a lucky egg off a Chansey. Or maybe not quite as bad. Huh? Who is this Ed? Who is this Ed you speak of? Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. Get 
the ponyta. Yep. Excellent. Can we get the picks of the megas of those three? Appreciate it. Oh, that dodo nearly sniped me. Wonder if um, what's it called? Ranker face Z works in YouTube. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Ed? How how is this gonna work? Where's this Ed? <laughs> I guess I'll have to like post the uh, the YouTube link in Discord as well, just in case. What's the link to that? Is Ed double chatting? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ed, don't say that about Banjo, jeez. <laughs> I'm not doing shit. I ain't doing nothing. Hello there. Hello there. What up, please? How are we? Really? Louise. Oh, not dying today, so uh, better. The wife has had it. Uh, wife has what I had yesterday now. Oh, mate. Never ends, mate. It never ends. Most of the megas. I, I. A degenerate join the chat. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay. The Greninja Mega is kind of scuffed. Not gonna lie. I don't know what's going on there. The Mega Metagross Sand, Sand Slash is pretty cool. And Charizard Glade. Rate it. Oh, I thought you had four arms then. I thought you went like former champ. Thanks for the shout out, Jake. Glad you're not dying though, Wheeze. The Megas look cool. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, if you want to check something cool out, Wheeze, I'm trying out vertical streaming on YouTube. I'm only going to plug this today, or maybe I will plug it a little bit more just while we're starting off with it. Just in case people want to check out vertical streams. Happy for you to stay here as well. Not a fan of the top two, but Gal, look, Char, looks sick. Yeah. I like the Metagross Sand Slash, but the, uh, the Greninja Gengar is kind of scuffed. Mr. Ryman can race as a fusion on that ROM. Yes, I think you showed me that before. It was sick. Oh, don't send it to the secret chat. <laughs> secret chat. That's cool. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this records at the same time. I don't know. It doesn't record. What I need to find out is... Whether or not, once the, um, the YouTube, the, once the stream is over, can I download the stream like I can with Twitch streams? I don't, it probably isn't a good idea to record, <laughs> to be live in two places and then record two different things at the same time. Probably best that I download the YouTube video if I need it. Do, 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 do. 
I hate when they do these little tiny hops to the left and right. So harder to, so much harder to like aim the the throws for those. For me, at least. Speaking from experience, I didn't mean it, please. Uh, I think you downloaded it off the stream because you can post it as a video after, right? I don't know. Uh, I assumed it would get posted automatically, Ed. Um, but we will see. I mean, if it does get posted as a video automatically, then theoretically, yes, I should be able to just download that video. But I haven't messed with this before, so it's all kind of uh, new to me. Got an item over here. Get some raspberries, why not? Sell those for big money. Big money. Ah, oh, dodo is too quick. Uh, do you know if I can skip the cutscene in Let's Go when I encounter Mewtwo? I'm pretty sure you can't. Uh, when I've done hunts for. Um, I, I did it for Articuno and I couldn't skip the cutscene. You like guessing? I do. You can't because Mewtwo is easily offended. Fair. Post another fusion. Alright, alright. Let's see if I can guess this one. Rapid Daish. Rapid Douche. You can skip the beginning cutscene. It's in settings. Really? I swear I saw someone do it, but I guess not. Oh. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe you can skip part of it, but um, you do have to still watch something, right? Am I wrong? You've done it? Oh, okay. I stand entirely corrected. I'm sorry, I was spreading misinformation. But that is Clefable Stoutland for sure. And it is cute. That looks like uh, your dogs. Little blob. Rip. Stoutland Clefairy or Clefable? Yeah. Gotta be Clefable because of the ears and hair. Okay, I'll check it out. Thanks, Blob. Here's Blob. I'll have to double check that as well. Did I... <laughs> it stands to reason that I never figured that out without Akuno because I got Articuno in like 99 resets or something like that. Me and Jax is like first uh, sort of collab, that. Going for Shiny Articuno in Let's Go and doing um, Friend Safari Encounters. Or dragons, where I got like a bunch of sligoos from it. <laughs> Too many sligoo. Why oh, are you looking at ass hair? You what? You what? Mm, doodle doodle doo. Uh, do I want to use Perugly here? What am I doing? I'm running away. Run away. Uh, yes, there's an option called movie skipping and it's off by default. Yeah, I know. I feel like I definitely used that option, but it didn't work or something. Enable movie skip in settings. Is the Mewtwo one different to the birds or am I just like tripping? My straight tripping. Hi Sam, what up Seal? How are ya? 
Anyway, yeah. Might be. Mm -mm. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, that Vaporeon is adorable. <laughs> How you doing? Shelter sweet? Shelter sweet? Press the plus button. I'm new. Welcome in. How are you? Happy to have you. Name is Sam. Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to get every single shiny in Let's Go in Pokedex order. So right now I'm going for Ponyta. And because I'm doing it in, a, in Dex order, anything that I get that isn't Ponyta, I'm not going to catch. So far we've seen a Pidgeotto shine. Also, I just realized I'm still streaming in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But you know what? I'm going to leave it that way. I uh, got recommended your channel and decided to pop in. Cool. Thank you, Twitch, for recommending me. Hello. Uh, guess the new fusion. Uh, well, it's Ho-Oh. It's definitely Ho-Oh. And... Uh, Absol? I don't know. Oh, oh, and what do those eyes remind me of? Oh, is it Arceus? I think it's Arceus. You chose the worst streamer. Wow. Thanks. I was also drawn in with the D's and nuts tags. I don't know what you're talking about. I couldn't have put that there. <laughs> you give up? I give up. <laughs> you can't not do it. Twitch gave me the option. I got I gotta throw D's nuts in there. Has anyone played Cassette Beast? I've heard of it, but I've not played it. It's Reshiram. Duh, I should have guessed that. I was trying to think of like a white colored Pokemon, but Reshiram did not come to mind. That is a powerful fusion. I assume you're playing it, Blob? How is it? Is it good? You enjoying it? Are you doing some shiny hunting of your own right now, Shelter Sweet? I was about to say Ho Ho Reshiram as soon as I saw it. The band around the neck gave it away. I missed the band around the neck. Ah, should have seen it and played it. I'm just asking, as I will be soon. Ah, fair. Fair. Do, do, do. Wait, is the L? Okay, good. The LGM counter is working. I hadn't checked that today and just had the uh. The panic. Thoughts on Flaggate? What is Flaggate? I'm assuming it's something football related. Have I, have I missed something entirely? To be fair, since Sunday, I've not really, you know, listened to too much football content. I've been trying to avoid it. <laughs> I, um, the one, I, I did listen to the Stick to Football podcast and I had to skip the first, like, 45 minutes because it was just Gary Neville like, waxing lyrical about United. <laughs> I was just like, one game, mate. Oh man, probably for the best if you've missed it. Oh, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm intrigued now. You did a lot of shiny hunting in Let's Go EV, Sword and Violet, taking a bit of a break by watching other people do it. Fair, fair. What is uh, some of your recent shinies you've gotten? Lugia Zekrom is a fusion on the ROM. Nice. You're already fed up with one of my shiny hunts. Oh yeah, what's that blob? Gibbs a cookie. Mm -mm. Uh, they altered the St. George's flag. Oh, no, I, I literally... I saw a post about that, like, about an hour ago. 
I, I began to read it, but then I got distracted by something else and forgot to continue. Uh, they altered the St. George's flag on the collar of the new kits and the Barton Brigade are up in arms. Oh my god. Uh, honestly, there is nothing that I could care about less <laughs> than the freaking... than a change to a flag. Like... Oh. So over the top. Mm -mm -mm. Even politicians have been getting involved. Never mind. Uh, Magikarp, which took about six hours. Nice. Uh, did a Zekrom, Shiny Hunt in DA, and a Gumi Shine Hunt in Violet. Ooh, Gumi. Gumi, Gumi, every day. Very nice. I love the old Shiny Magikarp. I think I phased on like two Shiny Magikarps so far for our, trying to get all the Shinies here. And you was a bugger, eh, dude? Like, having, like, had a week to process it, the most frustrating thing about it is the fact that Man Yu were absolute dog shit for a long period of that game, and we didn't finish them off. So annoying. Like, to be fair, like, I'll hold my hands up. United deserved to win it in the end. They, they wanted it more than us. But we really should have just done them in. There was a point we were, like, five on one defender, and we didn't finish them. They, they were playing Harry Maguire up front and had Fernandez playing in defense by the end of the game and still managed to beat us. It was so frustrating. Not even a Liverpool fan, and I was gutted United won. Oh, dude. I mean, to be fair, as a neutral, though, it must have been pretty entertaining. But, man. I, I watched, you know, I made the mistake of sitting there and watching it with my United friend as well. It was just me and him. We were going back and forth. And he, even he was saying, like, mate, we are so shit here. Anyway, it is what it is. We lose. We move on. We're on to the treble now. No quadruple anymore. <laughs> the peasant treble. Lugia, Zekrom, and a badass mega of Tyranitar Archon. Noise. Uh, you're 12 hours, 17 minutes into a full odds ducklet hunt in Pokemon Y and about 179 encounters and it's 10% spawn and there are like 11 other Pokemon that spawn. Oof. Oof. That is rough blob. Is there any way to make the ducklet spawn more often? Like having a... Uh, Storm Drain Mon out front? Does that work in X and Y? I think it might. I think a Storm Drain Mon should make water type spawn more, shouldn't it? Or is that only like later games? Eevee. Gives you a cookie. No. You don't know? It's worth trying. Mm -hmm. Is all your emotes evolutions? That is cute. Heckin' cute. For me, it was the double whammy of having just watched us lose to Chelsea the Bridge, getting home and watch arguably the best team uh, left in it go out. Makes it more interesting. I mean, it means probably City are going to win the whole thing now, but you know. But that final four is hot garbo. Is it? You've got United, Coventry, City, and Chelsea. Oh, it's just like, what? Supporting any of those teams makes you feel ill. I mean, Coventry would be mad. It's not going to happen, is it? Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, thing is, I'm on my first playthrough. I want it for my team, so I don't have access to many mons. Ah, uh, fair. Let me let me check. Let me check something. Let me do some uh, R and D research and development. From drain, storm drain, Pokemon. Two, uh, in battle, outside of battle. Pokemon Sword and Shield. If a Pokemon with Storm Drain is in the first party, uh, there is a 51% chance the game will force an account of a water type. So, looks like it only took place in Sword and Shield, and it won't work in XY. It grips. I wonder if you can do a repel trick for it, though. Mm -mm. So what was the phase? A Rapidash? No, it wasn't a Rapidash, fortunately, Alex. Hey, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for watching my stream. Uh, it was a Pidgeotto, Alex. You have others like Dancing Meowscarada. 
you. Look at her go. <laughs> Cursed. I'm not talking about Sam, they got pippy motes. Uh, sorry to clarify, just teams I hate. What, what, what have you got against Coventry? Is it close to Leicester or something? Show feet, shut up, Ed. Uh, repel trick. So if you put a... Um, if, if there's a ducklet that's a higher level than certain other mons on that route, you could put a mon the same level as that ducklet and repel all of the other mons away so that you're more likely to encounter ducklet. Ah, less painful. Yeah, for sure. I've, I've phased on a Pidgeotto a couple times on this route before, I think. So, doesn't matter. It's not too big of a deal. I'm not going to show my feet, Sam. <laughs> They're arguably Leicester's biggest rivals. City United and Chelsea are just gross, yeah. I did not realise that Coventry were big, uh, Leicester's biggest rivals. I had no idea. Are Coventry in the uh, the championship? Have you played them this year? Show your feet, Ed. Hey, boy. Mist uh, throws Eevee off of Cycling Road. Mega Tight Ranatar Garchomp is spiky as hell. Oh, damn. Oh, mate, the freaking eyes in its chest. I kind of love it. The Garchomp Zek uh, the, the um, Zekrom Lugia is dope too. Actually made the shiny look half decent. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is my nemesis on this game. Yo, what up, Tau? I have already phased. I mean, I say already. It's been two hours, 40 minutes into this hunt. But yeah, we, we phased today uh, on a Pidgeotto. How come Ponyta is your nemesis? Yep, we played them twice already. Ah, well, there you go. Were they uh, were they spicy games? I assume you won, won both of them. You're still top of the league, right? All right, guys, I'll show in general once uh, Shiny Spinder from BSP can go home. Just how a bucket of water to throw a pony up. Fair. You phased twice, got to like 900 plus, and gave up. Rip, dude. Rip. Uh, let's hope that my ponyta isn't as bad as that. I have had some hunts go over 900 before. But um, I'm really hoping ponyta won't. Like, man. I, I came into this hunt thinking it was going to be a pretty good one. Considering the size of the area that we get spawns in, I thought, oh, this will be a pretty quick one. Hopefully, my uh, my thought process was valid, and uh, we get Ponyta reasonably quickly. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I would say, like, less than five hours, I would like the Ponyta. Now Ilka has some motivation. They want to see them, them Ed toes. How long did Gollum take? Uh, I think go. I don't know why I called him Gollum. <laughs> Gollum. I guess that was how it spelled. Uh, Golem took three hours thirty minutes. I think I haven't evolved the uh, the Graveler yet. Uh, Go Golem, you actually can't find in the wild, so I had to get a second Graveler. But uh, yeah, that took like three and a half hours. Also, did you hear about Pokemon Works? I did hear about Pokemon Works. Very interesting. Very intriguing. Yo, what up, Team Animals? How you doing? How goes it? Or Travis would probably be the better thing to call you. Thanks. Uh, I was talking about Galarian Rapidash earlier. Oh, you love G-Ponita? Yeah. I I'm a big fan. I still feel like it should have been... Is it Psychic Fairy? I would prefer that it was Fairy Fire type. That would have been really cool. Uh, I was talking about Galarian Rapidash earlier. I was showing Sam a fusion of it and double from a rum hack. Yes. It is sick. How long did Tentacruel take? I got Tentacruel just before the 10 hour mark. Good and you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. I'm having a very good Friday and I'm buzzing for the weekend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Should we have the Esron? The same? 
Pokemon Works? You haven't heard about Pokemon Works, Jake? Pokemon Works was trademarked by the TPC and it's placed, uh, which is the Pokemon company. Um, it was placed in the building of uh, Ilka and had a couple of the directors from Ilka, so they want to keep Ilka as a buddy, uh, but give it a license name that the fans won't worry about, even though Game Freak games are more glitchy. <laughs> Just subbed? Hey, thank you. Appreciate it, Travis. Thanks you so much. Uh, I will be talking to YouTube chat and Twitch chat at the same time, just so you're aware. Um, I am streaming non-vertically on Twitch, if that's what you're interested in. But uh, I appreciate you finding me on YouTube. That's the theory for now, yeah. Hopefully... Uh, Ilka will have learned from their mistakes in BDSP and the Pokemon company will give them like more reign to sort of you know do some of their ideas because I, I heard that like BDSP the Pokemon company basically said no just keep it the base game the, the only thing that they allowed Ilka to like make their own was the underground which was actually decent so hopefully the Pokemon like company you know they'll give them more of a free reign on the next game they allow them to make, which I am going to assume it's got to be Gen 5, right? They've got to be making Gen 5 remakes. My wife! <laughs> Thank you, Sylveon. You realise that? Don't worry. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. BDSP is my least favourite mainline Pokemon game. Yeah. I mean, is it technically a mainline game? It's a remake. But then I guess I consider HGSS mainline. I hope they just take their time and make a game. So that works. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, I gotta come back. Just gonna check some stuff. No worries. All good. Is an SR? I meant song request. Oh yeah. Uh, SR on. It's not on today. I mean, I could put it on. I suppose. Um. But now I think I'm just going to stick with what I've got on in the background. I think song request, streaming to Twitch, and streaming to uh, YouTube might be a, th a few too many things to juggle. Once I've got like a sort of grip on doing the multiple streaming situation, then maybe I'll allow song request again. Missed. Hey moron, you missed my message. <laughs> mm. Regular Rapidash is fused with Arcanine. Ooh. I hope you read that right as I put a mist down. All good. That's what the mist is there for. PDSP is the worst mainline game because Damon and Pearl were just as bad, only it's a bit more charming. There. I prefer Diamond and Pearl. Because you can do the, the cute charm glitch there. <laughs> Alive. said Damon, Damon and Pearl? I mean, that is how Ed wrote it. I'm just reading what my, my homies say. Bit more charming. You think that BDSP is a bit more charming than Diamond and Pearl? I'm back. Welcome back. What are you up to, Travis? You doing some shiny hunting yourself? My favorite Pokemon games, Damon and Pearl. Damon is my favorite Pokemon character, by far. I think my least favorite Pokemon game so far is the new Pokemon Snap. Ooh, I, I really enjoyed the new Pokemon Snap. It didn't have as much charm as the original, but there was there was a lot of effort put into it, at least, which is a lot more that can be said from a lot of uh, other Pokemon games. Damon and Pearl sounds like a hairdresser's. It does. Like a, um, a married couple open a salon. I'm Damon. And I'm Pearl. How much off the day? No, Damon and Pearl is because of the art style and the fun glitches. Okay. Fear. Uh, if you join Sam's Discord, you'll be able to see the Rapidash Galar and Double in general chat. Look at look at you, mate. Getting me uh, the promotions out there, Sylveon. Uh, just gonna start shiny hunting now. Ooh, nice. What are you going for? What game? 
Why am I SOSing for Bruxish? I don't know, mate. You're going to have to tell us that. Just like BDSP, but it's been so good to me. Yeah, I had fun with it. I didn't, like, not like it, but then I like every other Pokemon game more, so probably is, like, the worst for me as well. I was going to go for Clam Pearl. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, I guess, um, uh, SOS, or not SOS Fishing. Oh, no, you are SOSing. I was going to say Chain Fishing, you kind of just, like, take what you get. But SOSing, yeah, you, why are you going for Bruxish? <laughs> Dodge. It's not. Uh, I got mad shinies and nice and fast, but I just don't like the game. There. Scarlet Violet. Noise. Scurvy. I don't know. I don't know. Violent Kiss. Uh, you just received your first cassette beasts. Let's go. Hell yes. You just lost a bit of soul and creativity because it was a one-to-one -one remake. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> it's so funny, isn't it? Like... Everyone always says, oh, just make it the same as the original when it's they change too much or change the wrong thing. But then when they do make it the same as the original, everyone say, why didn't you change it? <laughs> There's no pleasing everyone. What's my favorite Pokemon game? I, I don't know. I, it, I used to think it was Heart Gold Soul Silver because um, I just love... I, well, one, I love shiny hunting the starters in those games. The, uh, the soft resetting in the st for the starters is great. Two, having your follow Pokemon in it. I used to love it. Uh, it was like the only game that had that, but now we have that in like quite a lot of games. Um, I don't know. Maybe... Black and White... I don't know if I could call it my favourite, but I think if I played it again, it probably would be my favourite, because it just... It's the best-looking... 2D Pokemon game. So I pro I'm, I'd probably go Gen 5, but I need to play it again to really cement that. It was a Sun and Moon? There. Sun and Moon had some great shiny hunting methods. The, uh, the story isn't that fun, but... You got a shiny hunt for two ducklets, a shiny Munchlax, and the red and blue Tatsugiri. Nice! some very nice targets you show your winking i'll give you a deadly hug uh, i'm not sure how are you winking <laughs> hey even deadly hug can be nice you haven't been hugged in a while <laughs> but if you don't change it uh make it charming and not the same because if it's let's go graphics it would have been like a whole new world yeah Old claims, jokes on you. I love deadly hugs. <laughs> God, that that so that they pour on emotes too good. Don't mention Ducklet to me. It's torturing me. Is Ducklet a day only spawn? Uh, does anyone know? In Scarlet Violet. Blink, blink, blonk, 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 blonk. We think so. Okay. We think so, Travis. Color Violet, too easy to hunt. So. it can still be fun. I really, I, like, some of the best, like, shiny hunts I've done in recent memory were the, um, uh, what are they called? The Paradox Pokemon in Area Zero. I thought that was so fun. You're gonna get uh, Munchlax first then? There. Isn't Munchlax... Quite hard to do, or was it made easier in the DLC? Where is your complete deck silly on? On what? The DLC gives a shiny Munchlax for free, but you need a uh, online. Oh yeah, you've got to do the um, the thing that gives you mochi, right? To get a free shiny Munchlax from that NPC. Skull by is cool. Yeah. Ogausting. Yeah. Is now you do it? 
ogre ousting ogre ousting ocean yes i actually need to do some uh ogre ousting grinding just so i can get some mochi for like building um competitive teams oh well chinese are cool to see and getting a marks or a bonus true valid valid i do like overworld shinies i just i don't know i feel like they would be more fun or more widely accepted if the odds were a bit worse so if they made it back into one and out of 8k odds then i think they'd be more making them a bit rarer to give them their rareness back i guess any god and Arkadash looks cool, looking general. I I. Oh, Vina God, I think you've showed me before. Yeah, that is sick. And Rapidash. Oh, Rapidash Arcanine's amazing. Like that, it's just become like all faces on fire. And the coloring is sick too. Very cool. Very cool, Kanye. Scarlet Violet made it possible for me to shiny hunt while since I'm often too busy with work. I'm on around the clock call, so I don't have any the privilege to sit down for hours and shiny hunt. There. There you go. There you go. There is pros and cons to every decision that they make. Shinies and everything in the game, I guess. Having a mix of games with high and low odds are good for people in different situations. That is what I was trying to say, but uh, written out way better. In fact, if anyone watching on YouTube, I thought of that completely. I'm not reading a comment on Twitch. I can replicate uh, all fire face, or alcohol on Sam's face. Been there. <laughs> Whatever you enjoy and the way you like to hunt best is chill. Yeah. Excellent. True. Hug YouTube chat. A spine crushing hug to YouTube chat. Well, there goes the YouTube stream. <laughs> Still looking for you. Me some Stro 80. Stro. Is that some kind of Dutch drink? Mm, it seems to other people are watching with me on YouTube, but I am only speaking. Uh, it's probably uh, people lurking from the Twitch as well. Uh, all right, let's not catch the chancy. We don't want that. Ed, you've been you've been summoned. <laughs> to be fair, this is my first time streaming on YouTube, Travis. So maybe more people will filter in. The longer I go, we will see. Yo, <laughs> it's Austrian rum. Ah. Hope there was not many viewers on the chat. Okay. And maybe they won't. Who knows? We'll see. It's all a test. I'm testing things out, trying new things. Nah, fam, we control the, the witch trap. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't know why I didn't catch that ponyta, but only God can tell. Mm. Um. WWE 2K24 has a cool feature where face paint wears off if you keep hitting the face paint on the wrestler's head. Nice, nice. Bit of realism. Gotta love it. So Arthur is now out of his little onesie. He is all healed up. After having his balls snipped. Just for a clarification, Arthur is my dog. <laughs> also, I just realized that my mic is absolutely miles away from me. But I might have been a bit quiet. 
Hopefully it's better now. Or worse, considering, uh, depending on whether you like the sound of my voice or not. Okay, I think I'll go for Droopy Tatsugiri first. Fair. So all of the hunts you were trying to do were pretty, uh, pretty hard ones to go for. Posted the best example of this creation of a wrestler called Sting. His face is usually face painted. Oh, that's cool. That is very cool, Sylveon. Run away from Ponyta. Well, not Ponyta. Run away from Litwick, even. Hug Arthur. A breathtaking hug for Arthur. He'll be fine. Good luck. Tatsugiri is a B because there are three. Yeah. I'm just glad I have Outbreaks and Droopy Tatsugiri does have the best shiny in my opinion compared to the other three. I Which one's the one that has the uh, the white Tatsugiri? That's the one I would like to go for at some point. By the way, I may have seen uh, you once before in another stream. Your name looks kind of familiar. Mm -mm. We added a new thing where a wrestler is bleeding. Uh, if they're on their stomach, it drips on the mat. The mat on the ring and the mats outside will be permanently stained until you finish the match. Ooh. Do the red one. Ah, it's droopy. Nice. Back in my day, we just died with a sandwich. <laughs> I see you've been popping off, Jake, with the uh, with the old wormhole hunts. Name streamers, um, Pokey Jacks, <laughs> uh, Banjo Mango. Wait, no, never mind. Um, uh, Rosie. <laughs> Technically the truth. Uh, it's the only the form of the three you haven't gotten. Ah, nice. Gonna finish the trifecta. I'm a streamer, Sam, I swear. <laughs> Maybe I should stream. <laughs> Jake cooking streams when? Back to Hazy stream. Ah. Venom snap. You've done like two. Oh, really? There. I think it's been four years. That's crazy. <laughs> I never, I never uh, was graced with a uh, a rosy stream. I know Jack's caught one. Oh my god, Jake, would you in theory be able to help me getting the charm in Gen Seven? A decent laptop now. Oh my god, Bongo, probably. <laughs> what do you want? I might be able to help as well, although I think I moved all of my Pokemon uh, from those games into home. But uh, if I have any of the Mons, I'd be happy to help. Uh, been a while, but I'm gonna, then I started hunting Poipole. I need to freaking do that, man, before stupid home closes. Maybe I should just like, like I did with LGM. Oh, that could be my next like, uh, what's it called? Channel point reward thing. Where I'll just do, uh, you guys commit channel points to me doing a stream of only Poipol. Let you know next stream. Noise, noise. I'm guessing you mean bank? Me? Well, I moved him into bank and then moved him up to home. Uh, Himmy, Ezra, Tiller, Nino, Tip, Topo, Teo, Wally, Salty, Sableye, Meldy. Can't remember more. Get it out. Uh, roar. I don't like it. <laughs> Get it out. 
you said before home close. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, I did indeed mean bank. I see you over there, Sylveon. Maybe you're mistaken then. Maybe. You owe a formal apology. Wait, salty. <laughs> Wait a sec. Mm -hmm. I've heard of Tiller. Mm -hmm. He's raided me a couple times. Nice guy. You can still use home afterwards, but there might be a few issues now and again. Yeah. I'm going to say this. I can almost do 10 highs. I went back to using... Agreed. Afternoon, what up, Lucas? How are you? How's it going? Whoa, dodo, -do whoa, dodo. -do You must not be in your prime now. I do. <laughs> I mean, I'm in like really good shape, but I'm just like not quite. Uh, I'm in different shape to what I was in before. So I'm like more athletic now, whereas I was more like just top heavy arms back then. Because I've been doing a lot more running rather than concentrating on like arm workouts and things. I hate how sometimes how games make you go the way you're supposed to. Yeah, innit? I wanna I wanna go the quickest route. Skip all of the bullshit. Okay, the name's Salty Dolphin. Uh it's going decent. Finally the weekend is here. How are we doing? Hell yes, I am so up for this weekend. I'm doing very well. I've had a pretty good week. Um Oh, I found out today, so I've been having this issue with British Gas where they have a an account that I have for like an old home and they've just left it open for like way too long. Gone through the ombudsman before, had it closed, or so they said. Didn't actually close it. It's open again. Basically, uh, they're going to close it, or the ombudsman, like this third-party company, is going to get them to close it, and they're also going to get them to give us 150 quid for my time. So, sweet. We'll take that. Uh, so that's good. That's resolved. I'm also working on these other things, um, in that I'm... I've opened like some bank accounts with these uh, other banks. So there's three banks, uh, NatWest, um, the Royal Bank of Scotland, and Ulster, I think, are the three. And they all offer £200 like switching bonuses. And I'm just switching three like accounts over to those and going to make 600 quid from it. So that's pretty sweet. <laughs> there's a bit more to it than what I'm saying, but just in layman's terms, that's all I have to really do. So I'm out here. I'm making some money before my baby arrives. <laughs> oh nice, what's your mother's maiden name? Free monies, yeah. I've been I've been just looking into a bunch of ways to like make free money at the moment. Prime to feel alive, baby. Speaking of prime, hell yeah, let's go. You recently saw a meme that reminded me of you. Is it gonna be offensive? It's gonna be offensive, isn't it? Oh no, I thought you meant Salt Queen. Ah. So close. Rosie does get it. Turn 30, uh, start running, always talk about a half marathon, you're going to run on social media, that was pretty much it. I did see that. Uh, my uh, my wife sent me something similar, Ed. It's like, there, there's three things that guys do when they turn 30. They start barbecuing, they start running, and then some other thing. <laughs> free money, sub on YouTube, free. Yeah, true. Sub on YouTube, guys. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Question, Wheeze. This is something I've been wondering. Um, how do you clean your running shoes? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Lick the shoes. Fair. Only real men clean them that way. Is it really free if you take the time to find it? I guess I'm using my time to do it, but like, hey, 600 quid's worth of money to do it. 
is is worth my time. <laughs> when I got a baby on the way, I'm taking every shortcut I can to make some money. I spray with a fresh scent thing. I typically go through shoes pretty fast. Ah, fair. Well, what about if they're like covered in mud? So I went on like some trail. I've got some trail shoes and I've got some like running running shoes. And the trail shoes are just caked in mud at the moment. Six hundred pound for what an hour tops? Yeah, something like that. Well, I mean, the problem is, so you've got to set up the accounts. You've got to wait a week for them to close. So it is kind of taking like a week to do, but like the actual like input that I had to do was about an hour. Get a hand hand brush or something like that with the uh, hard brush thing. Yeah, I guess I could do that. You end up running um on a running day and spraying them down. Okay. Or just like a with water. You name for your your Dominoff? Dominoff. Domino. Muddy feet. Show feet. On a rainy day. I'm with you. Okay, I'll do that. Show me a blue horse. In three, two, one, boom. I mean, a pony has spawned, but it went shiny. Trail shoes can take some beating. Yeah, they are. They are pretty industrial, but um, the only problem is. They're, I think they're a bit too small for, like, my toes. My toes can't really, like, spread out in them. They're, like, kind of crushed in. And one of them, I think, my, my pinky is getting, like, squished in underneath my foot. And it's not... doesn't feel that comfortable. Gonna come back later to see you then? No worries, Travis. Good luck with your hunts. Appreciate your subbing. Uh, 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 uh. The shoes need to get beaten. Pulls out brass knuckles. Beat them up! Oh my god, I forgot. I recently got a monitor that I have a vertical instead, and it works well with the YouTube stream. Oh yeah? Send a, uh, a picture in the Discord. I'm curious. If you can. Oh, that sounds uh, not fun. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, it's not ideal. I might have to just scrap them, which is a shame, because I only got them at Christmas, but... It'd, it'd be what it do. I'm actually... <laughs> It's funny that you mention uh, the half marathon situation, Ed. I can't remember if I said this already, but I am doing a half marathon tomorrow. Um, just in preparation for the full marathon in three weeks, I think. Well, it's three weekends from now, so it's kind of like two weeks and a half. I missed your message, Sylveon. I don't run because it will hurt my back. Um, what I've had four surgeries on, I'm just giving suggestions. Okay, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got you, Sylveon. I appreciate the suggestion. Get like a bristly brush and give it a, a scritchy scratch down. Woo, let me know how it goes. Yeah, I did. I did like um, three quarters of a marathon the other day, and um, we did pretty well with that. Get on Gov. Are you calling me Governor, or are you telling me to get onto a site called Gov? <laughs> Some kind of government website. I didn't know knew it, but I did figure you were still up to do the marathons. Yeah. Read me like a book. Even trampolining hurts my back. I tried trampolining last year. My back hurt straight away and it hurt for a week. Ooh, yeah. That's a shitter. What about, like, um, canoeing and stuff like that? Could you do that? It's after 32k is when it really starts to get to you. Yeah. So that, that was about what I did uh, a few weeks back. We got to about that point and I was just like, oh, gosh. But the, the the difference is, though, when I get to that 32k mark, I'll just be sort of thinking, like, look, all I've got to do is 10k. I do 10k often. I can do 10k without even worrying about it. That's all i got left. I'll just smash that out. That's what I'm telling myself, I'll think, whether I actually think that when I get to it. I don't know. You're not risking falling into the water, so no thanks. Fair. Valid. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> you know someone called a Dapper Weasel. 
not quite as much as a degenerate as our one. I go into a group of others with learning difficulties twice a week. We we'll walk around the city, walk around charity shops for three to four hours. Nice, nice. Have you found any like um, uh, good little grabs from the charity shops? I've actually been thinking about uh, doing a little charity shop soon. I haven't been in ages. I used to like going to charity shops to try and find like uh, really, um, really unique football shirts. And just like nice, uh, nice bits of clothing that you wouldn't really find anywhere else. Mm -mm. Always caught my best clothes from charity shops. Yeah. Over on Tuesday, we go into CEX. Uh, one goodbye from there, a JoJo PS3 game. Ooh, interesting. What are the graphics like for that? I swear, like, the graphics for, like, anime games just, like... They got, like, completely overhauled, like, four years ago. And they just looked way better than they used to. Maybe a bit, like, maybe a bit longer ago than that. I guess the industry saw like the sort of market there was for it or something. CX is expensive. It can be. Uh, depends like if you find the right game. It's kind of good. Fair. Unfortunately you have to go now uh, but I'll be back next time. No worries. Appreciate you being here and thanks again for the, the follow. Have a good one. Thank you for bringing my back. <laughs> Yeah, if you're talking about anime uh, game graphics, Sparking Zero is chef's kiss. It really is. That, that uh, trailer you sent me, it looked gorgeous. The first game I saw like that was... Um, it was a Dragon Ball Z game. I can't remember which one it is. I've still got it somewhere, but it's not in this room. <laughs> I just looked to the left of me, and I saw my bin. I had to move my bin off the floor onto my like this desk part over here, just so that Arthur couldn't get to it. Tenkaichi 3? I don't think so. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up in a sec. But anyway, yeah, my bin's up here, and it just caught my eye like that when I looked around the room. And there's just a pair of boxes hanging out of it. Not worn, they are clean. Uh, they just had holes in them, so I put them in the bin. I've got enough boxes that I don't need to, like, wear ones that have holes. So I just thought, oh, screw it. Get rid. Raging Blast? Now that rings a bell. music that was weird so this is the same youtube video but it just stops so abruptly let me see if i can find the name of the dragon ball z game that i had that i loved it was funny because like i bought it and I, I convinced my friends to uh to play it with me sometimes and obviously because i'm the only one that had ever played it i just absolutely bodied them every time they played me so no one wanted to play with me again no one wants to play with me on my video games Xenoverse 2, maybe? Dragon Ball Z games. Um, it might have been Xenoverse. Uh, uh, Raging Blast, Budokai, Tenkashi. List of Dragon Ball games. You put the pick in the general channel? Let's have a look. Ooh, very nice. That does look good. I don't like being so big. Take me off. <laughs> Giga Sam. <laughs> Omega Sam. Oh, mama. Xenoverse 2. I think it is that. Time for me to get ready for work. I Sparking Zero is the fourth Tenkaichi game. I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but that's cool. Neat. So it would have been around 2017, 2018, somewhere around then. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I think it was Xenoverse 2. Because that came out in 2016. I don't think I bought it like as soon as it released. It might have even been Xenoverse and I got Xenoverse 2. 
Each of us two keeps getting DLC. Damn. Still, even to today. Sleeter, Jake. Have a good shift. I hope you have a good weekend as well. I've got a few things on this weekend that we got to get done. We've got, we've got a big old to-do list. So we've got to um, paint the fences that remain in our garden. We've got to paint a, uh, a handrail as well. Um, put up some pictures in our hallway and other bits <laughs> that I can't remember off the top of my head. They're written down, so I don't have to worry too much. Latest Jayco. The latest DLC is Beast Gohan Piccolo, Power Raking, and Orange Piccolo. Ah, I remember you telling me about that, yeah. Orang Piccolo. I guess that doesn't, like, in terms of DLC, like, adding new characters isn't too hard to do for them. They just have to build the model for it, right? In a bit, Bongo. Why make a new game when you can just update one already released? True. That's exactly what they should have done for Let's Go. Just give us freaking Johto DLC. Although, the only problem with giving us Johto DLC would be that everyone's going to have just like, like me, a team of like level 100s where they can breeze through easily. Give us Johto DLC, but we can't use Kanto Mons. Or we can't use the Mons we've already caught until we've beaten the Elite Four or something like that. Again. Or beaten all the gym leaders, I don't know. I'm just spitballing. That would be wild if they just randomly gave us Let's Go DLC. Universe is getting DLC with characters sometimes this year. Don't know what they'll add. Uh. Mm -mm 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 all right i got the one thing that i gotta make sure i don't do while we're hunting for ponyta is catch rapid ash by accident i know it's a flaming horse but it's not the horse i'm going for speaking of did i already mess up the ponyta chain am i am i tripping Nope, we still got a chain of pointers. We're fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If they give us Roshi on Xenoverse 2, I'll be very pleased. Hell yeah. We need Johto badges to use what we caught in Kanto. Yeah, that would be good. Like, if you get, like, a, a Johto badge, you can use Pokemon up to a certain level. Or something. Well, or they'll obey you up to a certain level, even if they're your Pokemon. I don't know. Go to DLC with different characters to play on the second save on the start menu. That would be cool. Think of us Roshi on Xeno 2. I'll be very pleased. The flame wide uh, defeating a level 100 only get me above one level uh, up to level 9. I do not know. Couldn't tell you, Blob. I'm afraid I can't explain that to you. scoop up boop ba doo 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 Only things restricted on games are manga stuff. Neat. Hello, sir. Hello, Stephen. How are you today? How goes it? Excellent. Hmm. If Mario Kart 8 got DLC last year, Let's Go could get DLC too. I still have my doubts. Mario Kart 8 is different, right? I know it's been out for ages, but it's been across two consoles. Which, uh, I mean, yeah, it did come out when the Switch came out. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. The only well, Mario Kart 8 got DLC right, Alex, but there hasn't been a Mario Kart since Mario Kart 8. Whereas there's been multiple Pokemon games since Let's Go, so it's just not going to happen. So no Moro, Vegeta, Gas, and the Angel. I forgot the name of. I don't know who any of those people are. Who the heck is Vegeta? 
<laughs> Vegeta? I barely know her. <laughs> nice, you got the new biomes. What? What's going on, Cyber? How you doing? We are getting ZA, another Kalos game. True. Uh, that ain't DLC. Ultra Ego Vegeta is his God of Destruction form. He looks badass. Sick. Catch the horse. Yep. Mm -mm. I kind of went for the uh, the less is more vibe with YouTube. So I, w I was thinking about maybe putting like the um, the the layout with the the mons around the edge, but I don't know. I figured that might be a bit too much for a vertical stream. Mm, too many assets on screen at the same time as well to be streaming to two platforms. So just went with simple stuff. Uh, well, we all thought Nova, you Nova and Johto, but we were wrong. I did suspect something callous with all of the six Gen Six references. Yeah, but then there was a, an absolute boatload of freaking Johto and uh, Unova references, weren't there? I think it was it was just all red herrings. Unless they are going to remake Gen Five with the that new company, P Pokemon. What was it called? Ed said it earlier. I'll treat you guys to uh, uh, like what I saw. TPC just likes the surprises. What what was the new thing they did again? Pokemon work. Pokemon works. Is it? Ooh, yeah. God God of Destruction Vegeta does look cool. Uh, it's Ilka, but under the name Pokemon works. Yeah, yeah. I reckon Pokemon works will be working on either. A Johto remake or a Gen 5 remake. Right now. Anyway, gotta go, but have fun. No worries, Blob. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck with Ducklet. I hope you get it soon. Ducklet. Yellow! What up, Freddy? Freddy Fast Bear. How you doing, Freddy? What's going on? Only changes is hair and eye colour, no eyebrows and more muscles. It is funny how like um Dragon Ball Z characters as they become like higher forms lose their eyebrows. <laughs> good and you? Yeah, very good, thanks. Having a good Friday, looking forward to the weekend. Let's get that bread. Oh, and the bottom back of his hair is more out. Oh yeah. They lose their eyebrows, but they get like a more prominent brow. As if they're becoming more of a Neanderthal. What if we get revisits to four regions before Gen 10? Hey, wait, what would that be? Johto? Um, Unova? Uh, what was the one that we just... Kalos? What, and... Um, Alola, you reckon? That'd be crazy. Crazy. What would a Gen 7 remake even look like? What if they what if they like uh unmade Gen 7 and put it into like uh 2D graphics instead? 
Honestly, I suspect uh, we get this Legend game on the Switch because it is one city and probably a smaller game, and they keep their main games as the system sellers for the next Nintendo consoles. I can see it. I've been calling it for a year now. Honestly, I suppose, uh, Gen 10 is going to be the Netherlands I'm calling it. <laughs> could be. Got a lot of open world to do. I mean, I reckon they could do like a few regions, right? They could do a few European places. Just lump it all into one. Is it Scandinavia? Is that what that area is called? I love the concept. Goku has the power of the angels. Ultra Instinct and Jesus has the power of the gods. Oh, I hope it will be. I, I'm I'm really excited for uh, Pokemon ZA. I'm so intrigued to see what the game is like. The idea of it just being in that one city. It's weird, but super interesting. Oh, wait, by the way, Goku fully mastered UI now in the manga. Wow. His power level is just becoming absurd. Where do you go after becoming a god? You're thinking Johto and Kanto together. Ah, uh, fair, fair. I honestly don't see how Scarlet and Violet is supposed to be the best game to try and hunt, in my opinion. It's Legends Arceus. Yeah, Legends Arceus does give you the, um, the bling. But uh, I feel like the method in Scarlet Violet makes it much easier to get shinies. I mean, if you want the best odds of getting a shiny, you need to go to Gen 6 and do some chain fishing. Get that 1 in 100 chance of getting a shiny. Or isn't there an even better one with, um... Uh, the wormholes. Like, once you've got all the legends, you can just, like, farm shinies from going through the wormholes. Or, if you want the 1 in 5 chance of getting a shiny, are you going to do the cute charm glitch in Gen 4? Or, if you want a guaranteed shiny, you get Gyarados from Gen 2. Or, like, other, like, gift Pokemon, like Haxorus or the Munchlax and Scarlet Violet. Tried that, you only got one, that's it? Really? Damn. I got a few from Chain Fishing. Is it confirmed it'll be just that sea? There might be excursions? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the main game is going to take place in that one city, right? But it, it, it probably will branch out to some routes and things. What have Lumio City expanded so much? It is the new Kalos. Maybe, but I think... Wasn't the game, like... Isn't it going to take place while that city's being built? Like, I'd imagine that, like... Here's a theory for you. What if we are able to travel in time, like, during the game, so you can go to the city at different points of its construction? So, like, you go when it's there's no city there, and you go to when, like, some of the city's built and you can access certain areas, then you can go to when the city's fully built by the end of the game. And then you can just go to a time machine and travel, like, between different, like, periods of the city's built if you want to go back. That'd be kind of cool. But that's just a theory. A time to feel alive theory. <laughs> ah, every time I talk about it, I just want, I just want the game to be out now. Just give me it. Give me Pokemon ZA. Gets popcorn to watch LGM count that hit 40k. Oh well, I mean, you're gonna be sat there for a while with your popcorn. That po that popcorn is going stale before you hit 40k. Because I'm not hitting it today. It's gonna be a, few, a couple weeks before we get to that point. And also on top of that, I'm getting the LGM as a shiny before we get to 40k, so it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. AZ could be a major character in the game. True, probably will be. Maybe, maybe we'll finally get access to AZ's Floet. Who knows? I mean, Escalabella is the best shiny hunting because you can get so many shinies in every environment because of a sandwich. With Pla, it's great because if you save an exit, you don't lose the shiny and the sparkle sound is amazing. The shiny is less guaranteed from the Escalabella method. True. Sure. If, if the Pokemon company had released uh, Area Zero as its own DLC, 
I would have think I would have thought that was the best DLC of any game. Area Zero was the best part of Scarlet Violet for me by far. Elgin before 40k? Don't make me laugh. Elgin is a Warhammer 40k nerd, so he wants to be part of it. <laughs> Elgin a bang on 40k. Straight up hacks. Wish there was nothing to increase the shiny odds like sandwiches makes new players think shinies are too easy to get. Yeah. As Jake said earlier though, like different people appreciate different things. Some people don't have the time that we have to shiny hunt as much as we do. So maybe getting a shiny a bit easier is really nice for them, you know? As part of Area Zero, we can't access yet still. More DLC question mark? Remember try and uh, a Pokeball, you'll catch it and if did after you tried Ultra Balls. Remember the try a Pokeball. And you'll catch it, and it did after you tried Ultra Balls. What? What are we talking about? Elgian? Mm -mm -mm. And you banned me? Oh, right. Was I like... I was trying to catch something with Ultra Balls, and then I caught it in a Pokeball. What was it? <laughs> I need a sandwich when I get Piplup at 493. Don't know what we talk about. Never heard of Piplup in my life. Not even a one time. Oh, by the way, uh, no one's noticed this yet, but uh, check it out. I put more shelves up. Ta da! <laughs> I got uh, the, the, the unknowns are back. They're back in action. Um, we've got a little Bulbasaur plant. Not that you can really tell it's Bulbasaur from there. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, my typing is because there is a book in front of me. It was like an APOM or something? Uh, that was a completely fair banning, if you ask me. Ed. Completely justified. Regigigus was a pain on Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, over 5k. Over 5k. <laughs> Baby numbers to me. Noise. Cam quality so poor we can't even see it. Lies. But if you want a better cam quality, Steven, check me out on YouTube. On vertical streaming over there, you can see every pore on my face. <laughs> oh, look at me. Not minimal enough. Your wall, get rid of it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of a few shells. I've done. I put too much up. Fucked up. Boom and Sam's hunts are poor quality, so I'm not surprised even. Wow, just straight up bullying. I thought bullying was a thing of the past. Yesterday it was bad. Both his webcam and the game capture were so pixelated it was hard to notice which was worse. At least I, I'm not like making a, uh, a buzzing sound in the background with my mic anymore. I figured that out. I just plugged it into a different USB port. <laughs> also, we can't access the time machine now that we have the key to it again. Uh oh. Why? Run away from Litwick. Hello, Smar. What up, Nat? Why are we building Sam? Just standard procedure for my streams, isn't it? You miss PlayStation Home? I miss the uh, the old PlayStation, like, turning on sound. Like, da da. I'd, that was a terrible rendition of it, but. That's what it sounded like in my head. How are you today, Nat? 
you're looking forward to the week ender any any uh news on or progress in you working at the airport Hmm, a bit of GLT. I'll give her a look. Do do. Ah, get out of here, Dodo. -do PS Home is your avatar walking and playing mini games in certain areas. Oh, neat. Neato. Not really. Ah, oh, fair enough. Fair dues. Mm -hmm. Barely read the, those unknown. Good. I don't want you to read them. Uh, I miss it because I chatted a lot of players on there. Ah, oh, fair. Just waiting to see what my first shift is going to be. Fair. Essential kiss. Oh my. Oh my. Really taking liberties. Fuck. <laughs> what if Johto and Kanto got the same ancient region? Would be sick. So there's literally like infinite possibility. I mean, there's infinite possibilities to anything, but there's infinite possibilities to what they could do with Pokemon games, really. Just taking advantage of that. What they gotta do. Only got two shifts left at the stupid market, though. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm gonna find that market before you finish. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna buy some stuff. And you're gonna give it to me for free because you don't like working there. Huge brain. Huge brain. I wish they would jump more left or right. Are we talking about Ponyta? Yeah, because it's making it's making my throws a bit awkward, isn't it? I remember the last thing I bought on home, I bought a thing where you turn into a dog. I bought the thing to turn me into a Westie. Cute. Yeah, it does a half step. Yeah, it's very irritating. Uh, check this out, by the way, Nat. Uh, I now have vertical streaming on YouTube. Just have a little look-see. See what you think. Any feedback is appreciated. Unless it's negative, then you can get in the bin. <laughs> Honestly, a Legends game about the first two gens on the next console doesn't even have half of uh, far-fetched. Now that the Legends game don't follow normal release of gens, yeah. Why not? What does that mean? It means that if you were to watch me on your phone, I would take up the screen vertically rather than horizontally. Let's not invite Sam to our baseball team throwing like that. Hey, we don't play baseball over here anyway. We play cricket. Oh, hit the sticky wicket in the cricket. No, Ed, it's far-fetched. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> Do doodle doodle. I see. I see and I don't care. Hi YouTube. Hi Steven. <laughs> British. Do you play cricket? I'm Dutch, so Krigage. Borgen cool in Schnoll still be on. What was that sport you were saying about the other day, Steven? Oh, uh, you were saying you were going to go watch a sport the other day, weren't you? Or you were watching a sport the other day? Do, do, do. What game is this? What up, Moo? Uh, this is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Sour Apple Archie, thank you for the follow. I like your name. Appreciate it. Oh, last weekend, yeah. That was Corfball. That's right. <laughs> Very strange, like tracking you over two chats, Stephen. I am gonna figure out. Uh, there's a, there's a program I can get that will combine all my chats, so it'll be a lot easier to keep track of. I won't listen to you, Ed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this one has a very different hunting method to Scarlet Violet. 
Ik kan ook Nederlands praten noob. Listen to me. Fear me. See, this is why our marriage broke down. I just didn't listen. <laughs> I get told off by Ren by that all the time, to be fair. Oh my god, uh, I just finished that yesterday. It was my first time beating the Elite Four. Nice. Congrats. Congratulations. What was your team to beat it with? Uh, just kidding. I'm using Google Translate. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> pee pee. Poo poo. Feels good, man. Wonderful. About throw kale in my face. I wonder if Google even gets what I said. It was a very makeshift team. That's what we like. Throwing it together. I, I need to make a list of all of the, the things that I need to edit. I've got the, the latest Let's Go video. I've got the Legends Arceus post-game damage list video that I need to finish. Uh, I've just started um, the TCG video that I want to make. Uh, the, on the, ga the Game Boy TCG video. Um, uh, all of my cute charm shiny lock. So that's four things, but they're all quite long projects. Um, it was very makeshift, my team. Yeah, yeah, I, I got you. I got you, Moo. Uh, there was a fifth thing. Oh, yeah, I might do the, that Ditto video from BDSP from ages ago. I've just had sitting around for ages. Like, Ditto, can a Ditto beat the Elite Four in BDSP? Um, what else? Uh, I've got a couple of videos me and Jax did that I need to edit. Well, I've got one. I mean, we actually need to record the second part of the other one. Just subbed. Appreciate you, Moo. Thank you very much. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, if you like what you're seeing today, check out my uh, my Kaizo Iron Mod vids. That's another thing I need to edit. The last one of those that I've got. So Kaizo Iron Mon, uh, just like it's much it's edited down videos of my streams of Kaizo Iron Mon. Um, they've been fun, fun to edit, fun to play. The last one was Typhlosion, I think a Typhlosion run. I think, in fact, I think that video went up today. So once this stream ends, I should go check that out. If you don't mind. If you don't want to, fair enough. That's completely valid. <laughs> I get you. We all got lives to live. But if you do, I might give you a cookie. Ooh, we, we, we have a guest. A guest is here. Hello, little puppy. What are you doing in there? Come here, up here. What are you doing in there? Last time you came in, you made me uh, break a chain of ponies. So I'm not going to let that happen again. Come here, up there. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Up. There's your good boy. There's a big old head in the middle of the screen. What a dingus. Alright, you, you freaking tap at my door to come in, and then you just want to go out straight away. God. Keep your mind up. You're like a cat. No, I'm not coming with you. Stupid dog. Hug Arthur. A weak hug. Alright, yeah, he, he kind of needs a weak hug after having his uh, his ball snipped. Such a cute pup. You have three, personally? Ooh, nice move. What you got? What kind of puppies? He's a little Border Collie. 100% Border Collie as well. We, we did the test on it. Which was kind of completely pointless. I was hoping there'd be something else in him so I could find out, but yeah. Alright, you're off, are you? Thank you for making the oh. Puppy. Puppy. Sam, what should I order on Amazon to use up my gift card? Um chili oil. If you like spicy stuff, I've got this chili oil that me and Ren put on everything. My sister introduced it to us. Like last year, and we literally, when it, we we have we buy three jars of it at a time, and we run through that within like a month. Don't worry, Sam. We talking nice about you. Nice. Mm. 
Boop, boop. Uh, I'm not even going to try and say what you've written there in Dutch. <laughs> No, you don't like spicy stuff? Well, then I've got no more suggestions. Um, what else could you buy? What else have I been buying on Amazon? Uh, pregnancy tablets? Um, <laughs> uh, dog biscuits? I don't know if any of this is relevant to you, but... <laughs> oh yeah, that's something that happened in today's Kaizo Ironmon vid. The freaking full odd shiny that I found in Kaizo Ironmon. So that's why you should check out that Kaizo Ironmon vid, if you want to see that. Now, you'd especially like it. It was named after. It was a Pokemon uh, of your namesake. I don't know if you were here that, the day that happened. Spoiler alert. Um, uh, I was talking about a different vid, Weez. Don't worry. Wait, what? I wasn't listening. Um, I've been told that it's a spoiler alert, and uh, I won't say anymore because of that. <laughs> Pregnancy pills are for Sam? Well, yeah, obviously. I am pregnant. I, should, I said you should check out the latest Kaizo Ironmon vid, Nat, because something cool happened to do with your namesake. There we go. Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> I found a full-odd shiny uh, playing Kaizo Ironmon. So that's a 1 in 8k shiny, and it was a, a certain Pokemon that Nat is named after. Weez, um, preemptively covered your ears. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> You're not allowed to translate it, Samo. Fine, I won't. Go do Duolingo, Sam, if you want to know. Just learn Dutch. Uh, was it the random net better nat? I saw that. Spoilers, Nat. Come on. What's my username in Dutch? Do I even want to know? Uh, you got a mix, you got a Pitbull mix, and another one that we got from Craigslist. Ah, fair enough. Cute. I love dogs. Uh, weirdly enough, uh, the Amazon delivery guy, uh, me and me and Ren, my wife, if anyone doesn't know, were taking our dog for a walk, Arthur. And as we left the house, a Amazon Prime delivery truck rocks up outside our house. And I'm like, wait a minute, we should wait, Ren, because that's probably going to be for us. Lo and behold, it was. And uh, the guy started walking towards our door, so I walked with him. My I was wife. like, yeah, it's for me. My wife. Thank you, Banjo. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Um, anyway, he, he gives me the package. He's like, oh, for you? Yeah, I was like, yeah, cool. Uh, so I took that, put it inside. And uh, when I came back over, he was talking to my wife and showing her, showing her his phone because he also had a Border Collie and it looked exactly like Arthur. It was amazing. Like, oh, come back, mate. Come, come introduce your dog to ours. <laughs> Weirdly enough, it was like the same age as Arthur as well. Just around two. <laughs> What's Sam's username in Dutch? My wife. All right, we've got another about like five minutes worth of streaming left to go. Mm -hmm. The dogs could be cousins, for all we know. They could well be. Could even be one of Arthur's sisters. He was from a litter of four, and he was the only male, I think. Maybe might have even been a litter of more. Five minutes. No! <laughs> no! What's the plan for the weekend? Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to do a half marathon uh, in prep for the marathon I'm doing in April. Uh, then... We're doing some fence painting, um, maybe some picture hanging, and I think some some front front driveway weed de clearing, weeding. I think it's just called weeding. I'm doing a weeding 420 brew. So yeah, 
a lot of chores to do. Maybe some relaxing. Maybe go to the cinema. I don't know. Sunday, I might, I might go. For, I'm gonna go for a dog walk on Sunday. Oh, Saturday night, I'm gonna go watch the um, England Brazil game because why not? Uh, then, yeah, I'll be chill. Tij om je levend te volen. That's time to feel alive in Dutch. I'm guessing. Neat. Go England. Yes. Hey, Freddy. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. You're too kind. Thank you for the luck, Bango. Half marathons are nothing to me now, mate. I smash them out like, like they're a 5k. My name in Dutch, yeah. Big up England. Ingerland. Run away from LGM. I hear that. <laughs> Alright, Wheeze. A half marathon is like breathing to you, mate. <laughs> I got a joke. Why do ducks have feathers? To cover their butt quacks. <laughs> that shouldn't have made me laugh, but it did. Your, your freaking name is long in French? Hug everyone on Twitch? A soul saving hug to Twitch? Oh, damn. What are you going to give to YouTube? Honestly, I'd root for England over USA any day of the week. My man. Let's go. Let's freaking go, England. <laughs> you got a 50k in April? I don't want to even hear about it, Wheeze. That's insane to me. How often do you stream on YouTube? Um, This is my first ever YouTube stream, Moo. And uh, they will probably continue. It seems to have gone pretty well. It hasn't crashed my stream on Twitch. Uh, we'll see how it goes continuing but it'll probably be maybe once twice three times a week Want once twice three times a lady i don't know uh it unfortunately i don't have like a actual schedule for it um because uh i i stream when i can i don't stream when uh i plan to um, Wednesday evenings is generally, like, a day where I do a longer stream. But, uh, sometimes that changes as well, so I can't really commit to anything. As well as, on top of everything, like, my wife is pregnant right now, so that makes it very hard to sort of have a, uh, a planned schedule for streaming. But, uh, it is what it is. I would try to stream as often as possible. Hear that? Wheeze gets it. Uh, to win Kaiser Iamon, you just got to shiny hunt and get your levels up. Basically, yeah. That is one way to do it, but that would take forever. Forever, Ed. Unless you can find, like, a wild Chansey, I guess. And just grind on that. But on, well, grind on the shinies that you can potentially get from it. Always hard with kiddos. Um, no one take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you, Ed. And then you still get bodied by some dumb shit. Yes, valid. It's 100% going to happen. To be fair, if you can find a Chansey in the wild in Kaizo Ironmon, you just catch that Chansey because it can evolve into like the strongest stuff. Grinds on the shinies. Out of context, me? <laughs> There is a puppy outside my door. Mm, 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 mm. All right, come on in. Let's let's let him in for him to only leave ten seconds later. Come in. Hello, Arthur. Hello. What did he say? <laughs> Can you get out of my crotch, please, you silly little dog? Don't you dare just go back to that door and scratch it. Big stretch. You doing a big stretch down there? I knew you'd do that. You're a naughty egg. Do, 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 do. Ah, didn't I get an item from here already, this stream? I guess, like, moving around makes it respawn. Uh, uh, uh. 
What is your tip to level up your mons and let's go Eevee? Um, I just had like a team that uh, I had with me while I was catching like Nido Kings, Nido Queens, um, like some of the strongest mons in the game. I just ca kept catching them. I mean, the best way to do it would be to catch Chanseys, like go into Cerulean Cave and catch as many Chanseys as you can. Oh my god, that clip. <laughs> Um, uh, you're locked in it now, Arthur, mate. I don't know what you thought was going to happen when you were trying to trying to get in here. The best thing about having a, a team full of uh, level 100s is the fact that no one gains any experience after the battle, so the end bit goes a bit quicker. Tiny bit of optimization, but you know, I like a bit of optimization. Any kind of optimization I can get, I'll take it. Arthur, can we not? Right, that's gonna be it for me. Let's catch this last ponyta and I'm gonna call it a day. Do, do, do. I'm gonna head out. See ya. See you later, Freddy. I'm also heading out for the day. Everyone, have a great weekend. Appreciate y'all. Bye, Smar. He's definitely a cat dog. He really is. No one in the world is a little cat dog. Uh, turn the music off. Other. Go. <laughs> Bye. See you, Steven. See you, Wee. See you, Banjo. See you, Rosie. Uh, good luck. Thank you. See you, Freddy. See you, Nat. Uh, bye, Ed Boy. Bye, little man. Uh, let's pause the game. Actually, wait. Let me wait for one more pony just to spawn. Just to see. Okay, there, there's one. All right. That'll do. Uh, let's pause the timer before I forget. And yeah. Bye. See you later, Moot. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. Uh, let's go to this. I'm going to go ahead and end this YouTube stream. See you later.